All right. Um, let's start with a report, uh, Bill. Uh, uh, what is your reaction to this report? What does it say to you? Uh, it says exactly what it says. That is that the Syracuse Police Department has a serious leadership problem with uh, Deputy Chief Broden and Chief Fowler. They don't understand the basic workings of the criminal justice system. They don't understand the responsibilities of a crime laboratory, and they don't understand the jurisdiction of the district attorney. They think they're in charge of everything, these two individuals. And it's, uh, it's very upsetting for me because I've worked for this department for most of my adult life, and I've had nothing but great relationships with uh, the 10 previous chiefs that I've worked with. And it's unfortunate that uh, this current one doesn't seem to understand his role and what his commitment should be, namely to putting the best case forward so that we can convict the bad guys. The uh, Chief Broton uh, made a complaint uh, with the, uh, against the crime lab. Basically, it claims that it's too closely aligned with your office, and that's resulted in a lack of communication and what he sees as some uh, improper procedures and, uh, and problems with cases. The inspector generals uh, looked at that and, and basically vindicated the crime lab, but uh, is there any truth to the fact that you're too closely aligned with the uh, crime lab? This is, this is how out of touch uh, Chief Broden is. Uh, a, a previous report from the Inspector General uh, a number of uh, years ago, I think two years ago, pointed out that the Nassau County lab was, which, they, which was eventually closed, uh, was very, very derelict because they had little or no communication and cooperation with the local DA's office. Um, and now you have two years later, you have this guy who, again, I can't emphasize it enough, is completely out of touch with what's happening in the 21st century, saying that, well, they, they talk too much to the DA's office. Actually, uh, there, there couldn't be a better cooperative effort between th this crime lab and my office. The problem is, as the as report I think made crystal clear, is the Syracuse Police Department. Nobody else has any complaints. The sheriffs don't. The state police don't. The towns, the 19 town and village police departments don't. As usual, it's only Broughton and Fowler. Um, I talked to the mayor about this. She stands behind the, uh, the, the leadership of that department. And in fact, she says, uh, nowhere in the report does it question the leadership or their competence or professionalism. What's your response to the mayor's uh, point on that? She, she needs another good cliche because she must not have read the report. Uh, the report, in a very, very professional and polite way, said these guys don't know what they're doing and don't know what they're talking about. I'm not sure how you can have a reaction that everything's great and everything's fine when two completely independent professional organizations looked at this complaint and cost the taxpayers of the city of Syracuse and Onondaga County thousands and thousands of dollars in the spent hours, you know, uh, responding to it, and then after they say, basically, you're 0 for 50, everything you everything you claimed was uh, improper or unprofessional or whatever other words you want, might want to use, is just flat out wrong. Uh, and then you come out as, as the mayor and expect, to, you know, to show some leadership, and you say, no, everything's fine. The, the cheapest guy, I don't, I don't know where you buy hubris like that. Well, uh, she she actually is very critical of you. Um, and at what point that I asked her about that, she says that uh, um, this is a quote from the mayor. Uh, okay. They, meaning you, uh, have to step away from the crime lab. Instead, the district attorney has used this as another cudgel to hit the police chief over the head. At what point does the district attorney focus on doing his job and let the police department do its job? How do you respond to that? I respond to that, you know, that, that again, she, she's a litany of cliches. She, doesn't, she never talks anything substantively. I'm not the one that made the complaint. You know, she's trying to categorize this as some kind of type of conflict between me and the Syracuse Police Department. It's a conflict between the Syracuse Police Department and my office and the county IT department and the common council and the laboratory, and I could go on and on and on. They just do whatever they want and there isn't anybody holding them accountable. Finally, the Inspector General, as well as, uh, as, well as ASCLAD Lab, 
has held them accountable and exposed them. And the mayor's response, frankly, is 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 startling to me. I, I don't know how else to describe it. What, um, what what would it take for her to say, "Geez, my lab, uh, or or excuse me, my police department really made a, a spurious, absolutely unsubstantiated complaint against one of the best labs in the state." I really have to sit down with my chief and the deputy chief and, and talk about leadership and responsibility and accountability. And you don't think she'll do that? I have absolutely no confidence that she'll do that at all. I think she's in denial. The report recommends that the lab offer training to the police department. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. you, uh, what do you think about that, uh, that, that, that the police department would need training with a crime lab? Here's the irony of it, Jim, that for uh, my 22 years as the elected DA, the only time that the Syracuse Police Department has stopped training is under the administration of Broughton and Fowler and Mayor Minor. That's the only time. Every other police chief since Tom Sardino, Frank Sardino, uh, Tim Cowan, uh, Stevie Thompson, Gary Miguel, Dennis Duval, I could go on and on. Every single one of them had assistant DAs come over and train the police officers about evidence collection, about, about trials, about uh, taking confessions. This administration, just like they, you know, they've broken uh, away from the combined uh, police academy, they know th this chief and this deputy chief know how to do everything better than anybody else. It, it, and they're the only two people that think that. So the irony of it is that even though the lab has offered training since day one, it's been rejected by this police department. They'll, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised to see them rejected again. <clears throat> Why do you think that Broughton made this complaint in the first place? I, have, I haven't got the slightest idea. Uh, you know, the, the post standard, I think, irresponsibly car categorizes it as a, quote, feud. It is, uh, you know, that it, it's not that. I don't. I, I seriously don't know why. That's a great question. Well, it it, um, it it seems to sound a bit like a feud. I mean, uh, the, the when you consider the the comments that you're saying against uh, uh, you know Chief Fowler and, and and Broughton, I I you know what what else can the public take away from it? But that there's at least a, a, a very serious disagreement. Well, I mean, you, you know, look at the facts. I mean, this this all started over videotaping confessions. That's what that's that's when the that's when the thing became public. And I didn't mm -hmm. take the first shot over the bow. The chief of police did, and I was astonished by his comments. Since he since he took me to task in the media regarding my policies regarding videotaped confessions, they've had eight confessions thrown out in serious felony cases, most of them homicides. Eight. Uh, there haven't been eight thrown out in my previous 20 years as, as an elected DA. And his response to that is, well, we're the, I'm the best. We're the best. The mayor has no response to it. The mayor hasn't done a single thing. You know, she talks about me while well, doing, do, you know, do your job, protect public safety. Okay. I understand that people will be frustrated, Jim, and they'll say, oh, geez, can't people be adult? Can't they get along? And so forth and so on. But in reality, I mean, Here's, here's, they made the complaint against the lab, right. completely unsubstantiated, completely unfounded. I was right. Eight confessions have been thrown out. I was right. And it, and it isn't just me and the chief. It's just about every law enforcement office in the county that has problems with this guy. I just happen to be the only one that talks about it. The um, you uh, in your statement yesterday, you 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 employ uh, you ask the the mayor and the common council, uh, and the uh, uh, law department of the city to take what you called corrective action. What do you see as corrective action here? Corrective action: the city of Syracuse needs needs uh, a new administration. This is one of the best police departments that I've ever had the pleasure of working with, and to see these men and women you know, being led by two people that, according to the Inspector General, don't have the basic understanding of who, whose job it is to, you know, present evidence in court and what evidence should be uh, tested and so forth and so on. It's, it's just astonishing. It's, it's sad. Uh, we've got shootings every night. We've got, uh, you know, officers risking their lives. 
and we've got a, a you know a mayor that's more worried about her image and reelection than she is about public safety. It's really it's really pathetic. So you would recommend a change in uh, leadership in the police department? If if you don't have if you don't have someone come in to lead this department that understands the basic tenets of uh, collecting forensic evidence, testing it, and responsibility, unless you have a major change at the top, then I, I don't see how this is going to change. We'll see. I mean, I, I, I mean, in, in all seriousness, Jim, I know mm -hmm. you're going to be objective here, but in all seriousness, they made the complaint. Two separate organizations said, your complaint is completely without merit. There isn't a single thing. Your bed bug infestation complaint, your complaint about some case that Broton can't get out of his mind from 2005, your complaint about, you know, missing evidence, your, your request for, you know, 50 uh, items of evidence being, tra being tested for trace evidence, when we have the suspect's DNA all over the victim's body, and we have the suspect's confession. It is it is so out of control that, you know, I was optimistic that at least this would get the mayor's attention. Uh, apparently, you know, she's so entrenched in in her own image that uh, it hasn't uh, it hasn't caused her uh, the slightest bit of inconvenience at all. Okay.